Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Randy here with my Samsung Epic 4G again, and we're going to be looking at some uh, EXT4 ROMs. Um, in fact, all of them that I've been able to find, we're going to go ahead and go through them. Uh, in this case, we're going to be looking at a, uh, a highly anticipated uh, Cyanogen mod. Um, this is, I think, version 6.2. And uh, keep in mind, this ROM is, is not finished, but uh, it seems to be good enough to where we can at least look at it, give it a try. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be assuming that you've already gone through the video and uh, the steps to update your Epic to the new Clockwork Mod version 3. Um, that's going to be the one that has the black background with the orange, um, the orange letters. So if you have not upgraded to Clockwork Mod 3, then you will want to see the uh, link underneath this video. Um, on the tutorial how to do that along with the links to download the appropriate files. Um, of course, as usual, underneath this video is going to be uh, any links that you're going to need to download uh, all the necessary files to get this going. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to have to do is bring up your Epic here. And We're going to have to go into Sorry about that. <clears throat> Should have been a little bit better prepared here. Um, plug in your USB cable. You're going to have to mount your SD card so that it sees it on your computer. Pull down your little menu here. USB connected. Connect to USB. Tell it OK. And then on your screen there you go. That's going to pop up. You're going to open and you will copy. Um, the Cy Cyanogen mod has two parts. You have the actual ROM, which is the big file. Copy that on over to the root of your SD card. And then as soon as that's done, you need to copy the kernel. Um, they have two different kernels. They have the ext4 kernel. They have the rfs kernel. It just depends on uh, on what you like. If you're still using the old Clockwork mod, then go ahead and use the rfs kernel. And if you've already upgraded to ext4, then use the uh, ext4 kernel. I'm going to use the ext4 kernel. All right, so we've got those copied to the root of the SD card. Go ahead and close that out. Go back to your Epic. Try to get the zoom straightened out here, or not the zoom, the... Uh... There we go, that's better. Okay, you can turn off your USB. Go back home. Go ahead and power it down. Go ahead and take out the USB cable, it's not needed anymore. Let me try to clean off this screen. Let's see if that makes it any better at all. And then you're going to uh, you're going to boot into Clockwork Mod, just like you always have with the volume down, camera, and the power button. There we go. Okay, so this is the new Clockwork mod here. As you can see, it's uh, version 3.0.0.5. And the first thing you're going to want to do, like you do with any ROM that you're going to flash, is you're going to uh, wipe data factory reset. It's always a good idea to back up your phone before you do this, but I've already backed mine up, so I'm not too concerned with losing anything. And you're going to do this a few times, uh, definitely at least twice. I'm going to do mine three. I just make it a habit to uh, to always do it three times. Okay, now we're going to wipe the cache partition. And then we're going to wipe the cache partition again. And 
And again. And then we're going to go to advanced and we're going to wipe the uh, Dalvik cache the same way. I do it three times. Okay, now that we've wiped the data, the cache, and the Dalvik cache, now we're going to install zip from SD card. We're going to choose zip from SD card, and you're going to do the ROM first. See this one right here says kernel, so you don't want to do that. You want to do the Cyanogen Mod 6 ROM. I'm going to tell it to install. We're going to let it do its thing here. And I know my videos take a little little bit of time to go through since I don't edit them or anything. Just uh, be patient. Okay, now we're not done because we need to choose zip from SD card. Now we need to flash the kernel. Which is usually very quick. There you go. Now we can go back and reboot the device. Reboot system now. And if all goes well, we should be in Cyanogen Mod version 6.2, ext4. And keep in mind, I've never tried Cyanogen Mod before. I've heard a lot of great things about it. A lot of people are really, really looking forward to this coming out. It's supposed to be, I guess, one of the, the best ROMs available. But uh, it's, it's not quite ready yet from what I've been reading. And there she is. Give it a couple minutes to boot up. Okay, I can already tell you I like it. <laughs> Process Android phone has stopped unexpectedly. Uh, see, like I said, this is a uh, this is a work in progress. This is not something that's that's ready out of the box. Um, this is nice though. Yeah, this is definitely nice. When this is done, this is going to be a really amazing ROM. Yeah, this is this is pretty sweet. Um, I don't believe the phone works, but we'll play we'll place a test call. So the phone does work. Pretty clean. Um, let's see if we can go into the market. I'd like to turn on Wi-Fi. Looks like GPS is already turned on. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi network here. Give me just one second here. If we can get on my Wi-Fi, this will speed up the time it takes for me to download things like Quadrant and stuff like that. Okay, it claims we're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on this ROM, so let's see if we can find the market here. I don't even see the market. There's no market. Well, that could be a problem. Hmm. Well, 
without the market it makes it kind of hard for me to do any benchmark tests on it or anything um, so what we'll do is we'll just leave this as a, uh, a demo this video will just be be a demonstration to show you what it looks like and show you that it works at least um, I'll do some more checking into it later and see if I can uh, find out a little bit more about it and this says that it's beta but this release uh, where the page I downloaded it from said that this is pre beta so I mean this is a real early 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 release on this ROM but anyway you got your your pull down menu here and you've got your typical buttons up top I like the the launcher it's pretty cool the app drawer has nice animations and it it works it doesn't there's nowhere to really scroll because there's not enough uh, apps in it but messages Let's see if you get any choice on keyboards here now you get your standard Android keyboard that's to be expected Got some pretty cool wallpapers there. Anyway, uh, we're going to cut this short here, and uh, when I get done with the rest of my videos, I'll uh, go ahead and put my files back onto the SD card. And, uh, in fact, let me just see if I've even got. No. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to do any benchmarks on this one, unfortunately. It's not a. It's not. It's just not ready yet. But you know, hey, it is what it is. It works. You got a phone. Looks like the the web browser works. So you definitely got data. Uh, I'd like to test out the GPS, but that's something else that I don't see on here. Yeah, there's a. There is a lot missing from here, so it appears that it would be a, a functional ROM, but uh, you're just not going to get very much with it. But anyway, there's there's a preview of uh, Cyanogen Mod 6 for the Epic, and as you can see, you know they've gotten a lot done with it. It's progressed a lot since when I first started with the Epic. Um, it the best they had it at was uh, getting the screen to come up, <laughs> and even then it wasn't it wasn't very good. So there it is. It works. It's usable. You just don't really get any features or uh, amenities, anything really with it, but it works. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to hit me up. Um, all the links to this ROM will be underneath the video and also how to uh, uh, upgrade your clockwork mod to version 3.0.0.5 which will allow you to do the ext4 partitions and stuff and that really will make a huge speed difference in the way your phone operates um, sorry if the video is not not up to par um, I just woke up and I'm home alone so I figured I need to get through these videos as quick as possible before people come home and I don't have a chance to make them again so uh, hit me up comment subscribe like and uh, thank you for watching